Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1979 to listen to Child of Vision by the amazing Supertramp. I'm loving everything I'm discovering from this band so far, so I know this one will be amazing as well. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions crew where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. Never has a funky song got me so emotional. Wow, what a combination there. <laughs> Just loving the unusual, unique chord progressions in this song. So much to love as always. I say that in every song because I'm picking amazing songs all the time here. I love the reverb drums in the beginning. That sounded great. I love the deep synth sounds in the beginning. Also sounded amazing. Set the tone like it always does in these kind of... Uh, masterpiece songs i already know it's a masterpiece no wonder you guys suggested it i uh, got some funky bass lines going on 
And in one section, I got a little bit of a Pink Floyd vibe. I think it might have been with the guitars, what they were doing with the guitars. Not sure, but I'll have to go back there. Um, love the atmospheric synths in the background while I think the verses were going on. Sounded amazing. Just back enough in the mix to give it a full surrounding sound, you know. Very atmospheric. And then you combine that with the staccato notes of the Wurlitzer piano. That sounded great. They're known for that. I know they use that in a lot of these songs, or at least a couple of these songs from this album. And so, you know, that's the main d -d 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 guiding the song along. Love that. Then you get to the chorus or pre-chorus, maybe. Uh, you get Rick and Roger together singing back and forth. That's amazing. Unexpected. Um, chorus itself was so unusual, so memorable. Just kind of like, you know, a few words, child of vision, and then something else sounded wonderful. Took it to a new level. Very unusual, but I loved it. And then you got some uh, sprinkles of, I think, piano on the right. It almost sounded like a harp. That was interesting. But I think it was a piano. I read the personnel list already, so um, I know a piano was used on there. Uh, yes, grand piano. Anyway, lots to love here. They always give lots to love, so I'm going to go back a little. Here we go.
Ooh, wow. <sighs> nice little sax. Ooh, I don't hear that too often with a saxophone. I wish I had 10 of these or more. That was incredible. You guys know what you're talking about. Uh, introspective music at its finest, you know. Normally when I talk about introspective, it's about the lyrics, but this music felt so introspective to me. Ah, incredible. That piano section was so long, almost half the song it felt like. I'll have to go back and see, but you know, there's a reason for that. I mean, you get classic super tramp piano melodies going on, you know, with the, you know what I'm talking about. Unbelievable. And then you get some timeless synth lines in the background there. I love that. Staying on the note, going up a note down you know just beautiful melodies there even in the synth um, again the piano solo mixed with the electric piano took a long time that means the um, musical message was very important what they were trying to get across you know and it just let us sit there for a while and enjoy it and feel what they want us to feel or feel what whatever we take out of it what we're gonna feel so that was amazing uh, then we get a nice distant sax solo at the end there. Uh, usually it's right in the forefront. It almost sounded like vocals in the beginning. I kind of made an unsure face, but then it hit hard even though it was way in the back. And that was a great way to send the song off, you know, just fade out. Uh, that was done by John Hellowell, it looks like. So love this song. Obviously, you saw my reaction physically between that and the watery eyes. That means it's just blowing me away, which these songs always do, whether it's Super Tramp. Genesis, Pink Floyd, Rush, etc., etc. Anyway, going to check out the lyrics. Be right back. Well, to me, these lyrics seem to be criticizing a person who's making bad life choices, who has their priorities in the wrong order. Uh, they're making bad decisions, and they're not thinking for themselves, you know, just uh, in a bad place. So the narrator wants this person to change, but there is no connection there between the two, you know, no uh, similarity, no common ground. So he must simply let go what sad lyrics, you know, but very relevant, very true with a lot of people in their relationships, whether it be friends, family, etc., romantic. And so this could apply to so many situations. So unbelievable song. I see this was the closing track to this amazing album, which I've only heard some of, but I know it's one of the most popular and probably amazing with every song here. Anyway, perfect as a closing track. I can see why you guys recommended this so much. Their music always touches me, makes me feel something, and this certainly did. So I have to give it the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, for Child of Vision by Supertramp, 1979. Thank you, Rick, Roger, John, Bob, and Dougie. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this amazing song, this amazing album, or anything Super Tramp. Would love your feedback and to know your favorites. Anyway, you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.